Good morning, everyone. Pete here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to another edition of Deep Cut Dive. Today, Friday morning, we are going to talk a little bit about Bachman Turner Overdrive, otherwise known as BTO, from the Great White North up in Canada, one of Canada's finest, one of the true heavy rock bands of the 70s. So uh, I'm going to go deep into the catalog. Of course, they have like a handful of big hits, right? Ain't seen nothing yet. Taking care of business. Let It Ride, you know, got a few others, big radio staples on all their greatest hit sets. This is one of those odd bands, though. They've got, like, they didn't have a ton of albums, but they had a ton of greatest hit sets. There's probably, like, at least a half a dozen compilations. So I, like, scoured through all the compilations, and, and you know, a couple compilations are kind of short, you know, 8, 9, 10, 12 songs. Get the, the big anthology, which was double disc. So it's, like, it's hard to find... Yeah, and a lot of the, the really, truly great songs are, are on all of those. But you know what? There's a lot of really, really solid songs that are kind of overlooked and forgotten that are on uh, their albums, not on those sets, not really played much live. And that's and I was actually pretty surprised because I was always said, oh, I want to pick that song. Damn, it's on that compilation. Oh, I want to pick that song. That's, that's pretty rare. No, it's not. It's on that compilation. They played it, you know, through three tours. I'm like, ah, all right. But then I started finding all these other songs. I'm like, hey, you know what? That's really great. That's not any of the, on any of the compilations. Hardly played it live. Boom. So that's what we're going to do today. So uh, I'm going to give you five recommendations for those of you who are also big Tala, stop, please. As you, of course, it's training day. Wife is in the backyard with the client and their dog. My dogs are like, you know, it, it, we do this every week. It's just amazing how dogs do not get like kind of that whole concept of, oh, there's people in the backyard and I can't be back there. Meanwhile, we, this is like every weekend. Uh, it's just, <laughs> it's like, it's like every day is like the first time it's ever happened. So it's crazy. So uh, don't mind my three kind of whining a little bit because they, they want to be out there. See. Anyway, let's get started here. So I'm going to give you five recommendations. Uh, the BTO aficionados offer up some additional deep cuts for the folks who maybe don't know this band all that well other than the really popular song. So my first song is going to be off of uh, BTO, the first Bachman Turner Overdrive album, which is uh, that bad boy right there. Okay, it's a song called Little Gandy Dancer. Okay, uh, here it is in the middle of uh, an album that's got you know great songs like... Uh, don't get yourself in trouble. Give me your money, please. Hold back the water. Blue collar. Stayed awake all night. Some of the more memorable songs. So, Little Gandy Dancer is actually a fourth song on the LP. This is a Randy Bachman pen song, sung, sung by Fred Turner. Usually, you know, um, the stuff that Randy wrote, he would sing, but here he kind of turns the reins over. Uh, it's an old school rock and boogie tune, pretty heavy and catchy, with a really good sing along chorus. Terrific guitar riffs and guitar leads from Mr. Bachman. Just a really, really cool song. It's got heft to it. It's not like one of their heavier songs. It's got more of like a boogie feel. But it's definitely a good rocking song and like very catchy. And a lot of the songs were really catchy. So that's my first choice. Little Gandy Dancer. Check it out. It's pretty damn catchy. Uh, next up from BTO2. That's that one right there. Okay. A song called Stone Gates. Uh, another memorable, memorable album. You know, you got Welcome Home, you got Let It Ride on here, Give It Time. That's the one I actually wanted to pick. Uh, Taking Care of Business, all from this album, but Stone Gates, which is nestled against the third song on the LP. Uh, another strong kind of boogie number. Okay, uh, no shortage of Randy Bachman guitar solos. They're all over this song. Real hard driving rhythms. Okay, all, to me, almost sounds like, you know, some of their early, early stuff, which is more of kind of like on the boogie side of things, kind of sound like a heavier Credence Clearwater revival to me. Okay, and another great hook on this song. So, Stone Gates, just let me in. Great, great, great song. Okay, so there we have it. So, let's see. We're going to go, my number three pick, we're going to go to Not Fragile. All right, which is that guy right there. Okay, Second Hand is the song. All right, Not Fragile's got a lot of great songs on it. Title track, Rolling Down the Highway, You Ain't Seen Nothing Yet, Free Wheeling, Giving It All Away, all sorts of songs, but my choice is Second Hand. Heavy, stomping song. Okay, big killer riffs from Randy Bachman and Blair Thornton. All right, plotting, heavy-handed drums from Robbie Bachman. Uh, great vocal from Randy. I love his vocals on this song, who, you know, normally... 
Fred tends to sing the, the real heavier songs, but here you got Randy singing the song. He's got he's kind of doing the kind of gravelly thing like like Fred usually does. I think it works really really well. Um, and it's just got some wild guitar solos throughout the whole song. Another really, really heavy, you know, not fragile. And my, and the next album I'm going to kind of draw from, Four Wheel Driver, both really, really heavy albums. So my number four pick from Four Wheel Drive, right there, which is a 1975, not fragile, 74. She's a Devil. Okay, that's my choice from Four Wheel Drive. Uh, a kind of a weird song, all right? So the, most of the album is really heavy. You know, it's got Hey You on it, just that kind of hard rock and pop. Uh, you know, Don't Let the Blues Get You Down, title track, four-wheel drive, flat broke love. But She's a Devil is a really cool song because it kind of weirdly blends. And it's like, if you can think of another song that does this, I don't know of any, uh, that mixes like kind of like twangy country rock with like bludgeoning hard rock slash proto metal it's like it's got the you know it's got like the pedal steel and acoustic guitars one minute and all of a sudden these big punishing heavy metal riffs come in the next then it goes back to the twang then back to the heavy it's just absolutely brilliant and it kind of uh you know kind of hints a little bit at some of the early work of this band before they actually became bachman turner overdrive uh where they were doing a little bit of that kind of like you know kind of country rock thing which everybody was doing um at the time we're talking about you know very early 70s, you know, maybe late 60s, early 70s. Uh, but this is a really cool tune. I love the kind of back and forth nature of it. It's like, you know, it's always like, oh, this is kind of neat, kind of kind of rootsy, whatever. And then whammo, here comes the heavy riffs. And it's just like, you know, metal all the way. And then back to the, to the twangy stuff. Very, very cool song. She's a Devil. Uh, my last choice, and as you can see, we're going to most of the early catalog here. Uh, from the Head On album from 1975, very underrated album, I think. Uh, Away From Home is my choice here. Uh, this one's got a great Fred Turner vocal, killer chorus, nice mix of acoustic and electric guitar riffs. Uh, to me, it's kind of like the second cousin to Let It Ride. It's got that kind of balance between the, you know, the underneath, it's got the acoustic guitars, then the heavier riffs come in. Uh, this is... For me, the from this album anyway, the anthem that should have been. Uh, they released it as a single in the UK, but it didn't chart at all. Never released it here. Uh, a very underrated song that could have been, like I said, for people who like Let It Ride, kind of has a similar impact. Okay, And uh, I think this is a very underrated BTO album. Kind of gets overshadowed by the couple that came before, but I think this one is really strong as well. Uh, you know, I would have, I would have gone for a different album cover, but hey, you know, whatever head shot head on you know whatever 1975 real good song very good band so there you have it so you got away from home from head on she's a devil from four wheel drive second hand from not fragile stone gates from bto2 and little gandy dancer from the original bachman turner overdrive album from 1973 so there you have it uh, a little Bachman, Turner, Overdrive, otherwise known as BTO, the big guys from up north cranking out the heavy riffage uh, and the very cool melodic choruses they were just known for doing both. So uh, offer up your five deep cuts from the discography of BTO below. And otherwise, visit us on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook, we're on Twitter. Of course, we're here on YouTube all the damn time. Uh, that's kind of going to be it for a couple days. Uh, we got some family coming over today that will be here through most of the weekend. So you might see me on Sunday. Uh, but definitely, we have a lot of stuff coming up next week. A lot of stuff coming up next week. So uh, Nick Franco is coming back on the show Monday night. We are going to do a ranking the albums of amorphous, Finnish, melodic, death metal, prog rock, bands, right? whatever you want to call them. They go by lots of different classifications. I know a lot of you have been asking for Amorphous, so Nick is uh, coming on to help me with that. Uh, lots of other things happening during the week. We got uh, Jeff Young coming back on the show, Martin Popoff coming back on the show, both for some deep cut dives. What do we got? We got... Um Oh, The Who and ACDC and uh, Chicago, the Terry Kath years. Deep cut dives for all those three plus a couple others. Lots of other things happening. So stay tuned for all that. You don't want to miss it. And uh, we'll see you then. Bye-bye.